Hi, um, if you are joining me, you saw my link about making these little clip art people um, on PowerPoint. So I will just jump right in because I know how frustrating it is to watch videos and there's this huge intro. Um, I'm going to assume that you have a general working knowledge of PowerPoint. So um, I'm just going to sort of skip a lot of the basic stuff and hope that you know how to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is open a new document and get rid of these text boxes. And I think I will duplicate one of these little cuties. We'll grab her um, to create again for you on this one. Okay. So the first thing that I do when I see something, um, and honestly, I design my blogs this way as well. Um, I'll look at a blog design or a clip art image, and I will see if I can find the shapes in there. And then I will see if I can recreate those in PowerPoint. It started last week when I was just playing around with some math clip art that I needed, and I couldn't find exactly what I needed on Teachers Pay Teacher. So I started just fooling around and Lo and behold, everything I needed to make, I could pretty much create um, pretty easily. Those are in my Teachers Pay Teacher store for free, um, if you're interested. But anyway, on to this little darling. Um, so this is everything. Um, all of the little things that I build come from these shapes. Um, so I, you can do one of two things for a face. You can do the perfect circle. Um, I wanted mine to look a little more lopsided than that because I think it's cuter um, so you can also do a free form um, so I generally pick the one that says curve and I always forget this one um, and when you sort of make points they you can just kind of see what they do and then when you bring it together it you know becomes its own little and then you can stretch it and pull it so now there's a little bit of a ridge right there and it sort of makes the face a little misshaped and I think that's cute. Um, but like I said, you can feel free to use that one. So we've got a face. Um, the next thing are these little ears. Um, and so like I said, a lot of times I'll just look at these shapes and I'll ask myself like, what's the closest thing to what I'm trying to draw? Like that looks like it'll be a good ear. So I'll stick one on there, flip it around, um, pop it on. And then I always like to zoom in closer so I can really see what I'm doing here. Um, copy and paste it. Bring it over. Fold it. All right. Starting to look like Tommy Pickles there. Um, so then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and change the color just because the blue is bothering me. So I've just highlighted everything. And I'm going to go to Format, Fill. And you can do any of these colors. Let's see, we'll do, yeah, that's fine. Um, and the lines, I think clip art looks really cute when it has the thick black lines around it. So when I click line, I will go to weight and I usually take it up to six and I will change it to black. All right, so the inner ear, I copy and paste the exact same shape, but I just shrink it down a little bit and tuck it in there and then copy and paste that image bring it over, flip it around, and tuck it in. Um, so in order to make it look a little more seamless, um, I usually will play with the, the layering, bringing things forward. You can do that one of two ways. You can click this arrange button and it'll do this really cool um, screen thing where you can move the shapes around like this. So I want the face to be in front of all of the ears and so I'm going to move that forward. So when we come back, it it's cleaned up. So now the ears are tucked behind the head. All right. So the, usually the next thing I do is hair. Um, hair was fun. Um, as an African-American myself, I was super pumped to see this little cloud. It's like cloud. I don't think so. Afro puffs. Um, <laughs> So what I have done is just made a huge cloud and I'm going to zoom back out. Oh, that's way too big. And we'll make this little friend a brunette. Um, so we'll 
change her hair color to something a little more brown. All right, that'll work. And then same thing with the black line and six point or er, yeah, six point weight. All right, and you just kind of have to play around with this until you get it the way you want it. Um, so I'm gonna send it to the back. So that's a range sent to the back then the face pops through and you don't want her to have like no hair on her forehead so I will generally copy and paste and I'll shrink this down to create like a bang so that can go like right here Try to even this up a little bit or you know whatever you can do so many things with this so if it seems lopsided um, you can tilt this to the side to give like a little side do that's cute you know, whatever. There's literally a million things you could do. Um, so for now, I'm going to leave her hair like this. Um, and I know I said I would recreate her, but this girl is totally different. And that's okay. All right. Um, so then hair bows. Same thing. Shapes. I have been using circles and hearts. So there's a circle. And I'll go back in and grab a heart. And turn the heart on its side stick it on there copy and paste it flip it around and highlight the whole thing figure out what color you want it and let's do a red bow and black line oops Oh, and then same thing, bring that circle back in the front because that looks crazy. So you'll want to just highlight this circle and bring to front. And there we have a bow. You can play around with the little um, the little hearts to make your bow bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. Um, you, there's also other options you can do with like the shading. Um, you know, and actually I'll save that for her shirt to show you the sort of things you can do. Um, if you don't know how to group objects, highlight the whole thing, right click, click grouping, and group it, and it will become one item that you can move all together instead of all of those little tiny pieces. And when you adjust the size, it'll just be ready to move. All right, so make that a little smaller. They all shop at the same, the same store for their hair bows, by the way. <laughs> I think this one will look cute, like right here. She's a darling already. Um, face, I always just, I like the way Carson Delosa's little people used to look when I was little. Um, and they always just have two eyes that are really close to each other and a big smile. So I'm just going to sort of do the same thing. It's a little big. I'm going to turn it wet. Copy and paste. And there she is. That's what's been really fun about these little people is we're just watching their little face come alive and all of a sudden it's a little person. Um, for her smile, I'm going to do the, the one that says curve, I believe. Hold on, let me make sure that's what it says. Yeah, the curve one. And same thing. So you will... Um, you'll just sort of form a crooked little smile. Um, let's make it wet. There she is. You can adjust it with the size if you want. And if you want those two little lines that usually go on a smile, you just pop it there. Copy, paste, and move it on over. Um... So let's see, we've got her face, her hair, accessories. Um, oh, I will stick a shirt on for her. Oops, there, okay. Um, so shirts, I'm usually pretty easy going because, I mean, this is PowerPoint. It isn't um, like Photoshop or something like that, and I'm not an actual clip artist. So, this, you know, my skill set is limited. Um, so there's only so much I really can do. But I will show you just the little simple shirt that I have been using to 
make these kids have a little body is this one. So I'll blow it up into like a semicircle, flip it around, and make it a little bit bigger. Um, so this is what I was saying, the different options that you can use to fill. You can just pick a color if you want. She can be Miss Matchy Matchy. Um, or you could fill it in with something a little more fun. So you can hit fill effects and you can do gradient. You can do a picture, um, or texture, which I don't know why you would do that. Oh, wait, there's denim. What is that? cute oh that I've never seen that one before um sorry or you can do patterns where you know she can have a black and white striped shirt I actually think I like that one too um or any of these that make cute little shirts so then you'll want to send her shirt to the back and then send her hair to the back as well so everything is in the right order and there she is isn't she cute oh yay now I have one more Okay, so um, the last thing you'll want to do is highlight the entire little person, okay? And then you'll want to group. And then, there she is. You can shrink her down. You can copy her and paste her, uh, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to add her to my other PowerPoint presentation with all my little friends in it because that's where she belongs. Um, and I guess you don't need to watch that part and I guess I can end this video. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. I'm sure I'm doing 5 million things wrong or that could be done easier. Um, but I was just playing around and these little people came to be. So thanks for watching. Peace.